The state television campaign West in Armenia represents the most important news for today, broadcast for today. Greta Thunberg refused to go to Baku for COP29. The words of Kamala Harris and the unfulfilled obligations of the Treaty of Severus, Jakob Pelian. The UN court will make a decision regarding Eastern Armenia's claim to Azerbaijan. Source of Ganza village, 1946. The choir concert of Susavorich with Komitas Melodies. Concert dedicated to the memory of Levon Chaushan, Nadaram Hachadzian Concert Hall. The famous eco activist Greta Thunberg, famous eco activist, refused to go to Baku for COP29. The reason is ethnic cleansing in Artsakh. I will not go to Azerbaijan to participate in the COP. Thunberg reminded about the repression of Azerbaijan to its own population and to Armenians who were subjected to ethnic cleansing. The COP29 UN Climate Change Summit will take place in Baku on November 11 up to 22. Vice President of the United States Kamala Harris emphasized the rights of Artsakh Armenians related to the return to their homes. They view it as a basis for the restoration of the dignity of the Armenian people and the stability of the region. She noted that endurance of the Armenian American community is an inspiration in American history. She expressed support for efforts at, at strengthening Armenia's democracy and regional stability. However, a century ago, American President Wilson had already determined the borders of Armenia based on the Treaty of Severus. That decision was never implemented. So, what is the value of present promises if past obligations are not fulfilled? The Armenian politics seems to be indifferent, an example of which is the indifference of the foreign minister of Eastern Armenia, Arad Mirzoyan, to the issues of Artsakh and the genocide. Editor Jakob Palyan. On 12 November 2024, the International Court of Justice will issue its judgment on Baku's preliminary objections in the case of Armenia versus Azerbaijan. The public hearing will be held at the Peace Palace in The Hague. During the session, the president of the court, Judge Nawaf Salam, will read the court's verdict. On 16 September 2021, Armenia initiated proceedings against Azerbaijan for alleged violation of the International Convention on the elimination of all forms of racial discrimination. Immediately after the publication of the verdict, the court will announce its verdict. In the photo, women take water with buckets and pots near the wellspring of Ganza village on the southern shore of Lake Parvana, in Osminda region of Samskhe and Javak region in 1963. The author of this photo is photographer Gevond Hukaisan, who carries the symbolic relations of rural life and community value system. Thus, this work created by Revon Lukasan not only illuminates not only the landscapes of Ganza village, but also records the unique moments of Armenian rural life. The Lusavorich Choir organized a concert entitled Komitas Melodies. It was held on 26 October on the occasion of the 95th anniversary of its founding, and it was held at the initiative of the St. Archangel Church of Palat in the Frihoran Church of Beyoglu. The Armenian Patriarch of Turkey, Sahag Mashalyan, and other clergy were present at the concert. The solo performances of Tamar Eskenyan and Seva Karapetoglu were also highly appreciated. Levon Chaushan, the chairman of the board of trustees of the Armenian Music Assembly and Yerevan State Conservatories Foundation and honored artist, composer, two and a half years ago, passed away. He was a kind, gentle, noble teacher, composer, whose profound contribution to culture has yet to be fully appreciated by generations. A patriot uh, citizen of Europe, who really knew and loved his city. On 17 November, at 7 o'clock, a concert will be held in the Aram Hachatrian Concert Hall, dedicated to the memory of Levon Chaushan, soloist Anahit Chaushan, Anush Nikolosyan, and the National Philharmonic Orchestra of Armenia will perform Chaushan's piano and violin concerts under the direction of Eduard Topchan. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.